So I have to bring you cake from time to time. So today we are making a sour cream pound cake. Okay, y'all, so this cake is such a delight. We're talking very simple ingredients that come together in the most perfect, slightly dense, super moist, tender, buttery, melt in your mouth bun cake. And this is a cake my big mama made all the time, so I am sharing this recipe with you. To get started, we're gonna get right into our stand mixer bowl with three sticks of butter. That's a cup and a half of butter if you're not into the sticks and you don't find the sticks you need to measure it. It's cup and half. And this is room temperature. Always remember, you need your butter to be room temperature, okay? Don't be trying to put no cold sticks of butter in here and think you're gonna end up with a luscious, smooth, delicious cake. You need to make sure this is room temperature so all of your ingredients, especially the sugar, starts to incorporate perfectly and cream wonderfully with your butter. So let's get this in the mixer. <laughs> and we're gonna crank this baby up to about a medium high speed. Now, once we start to get some air into this butter, we're gonna add in some granulated sugar. This is not a diet cake, I'm sorry. You need the sugar, you need the butter. Get over it, enjoy it. Let's get in this bowl. All right, now let's crank this up. So. Here's a tip for you. This cake doesn't have any leavening in it, and that's okay. I get a lot of comments from people asking like, did you leave out the baking powder? Did you leave out the baking soda? I did not. This cake can create air on its own. You can create that starting with the creaming process. When you have butter and sugar at the beginning of your cake, if you incorporate a lot of air on a high speed, it will aerate that cake and it will give it a natural lift and you won't need the leavening at all. <laughs> Wicked. Whip it real good. It's been whipping a long time. So I know I've incorporated a lot of air into this. It's light, it's fluffy, it's perfect. I can move on to my next ingredient. So I'm going to be adding in eggs one at a time. I'm going to turn my mixer down to its lowest speed because I am going to be adding in my cake flour. And so this is a really important cake tip. When you are adding in your flour, you definitely want to slow down your mixer and you want to not over mix. You don't want to do that because you don't want to over act the gluten in this. You know, flour has gluten. I'm using a cake flour to actually bring down the gluten that will actually be produced in this cake. But to help it even further, you want to make sure that you don't over mix this. Let's put this in. Now I'm gonna add in our main ingredient, the sour cream. We are talking about incredible moisture, incredible flavor. This really takes this recipe over the top. Finally, I'm adding some pure vanilla extract. None of that imitation stuff, y'all, get the real deal. This cake is incredibly versatile. You can switch out the extract with whatever flavor you like. If you like lemon, if you like almond, switch it out and enjoy it. It's incredibly versatile. Now let's get to baking. This is completely ready to go. I've got my butt pan here. And this is when we talk about greasing, okay? Old school, like my mama and my grandmother, um, they love to grease with shortening and flour. 
Um, it's an incredibly amazing technique if you have the time and you want to devote the time. Today, you've got incredible nonstick baking sprays that will do the trick for you. You just want to make sure you get the one with flour in it. Okay, and then I'm just going to spray this pretty liberally. Make sure I get in all those crevices so this comes out pretty clean. All right, and then I'm just going to go under and scrape under, just making sure I got everything together. And this is going right into our bunt pan. I like big butts that I can not lie. You all know the rest. It's bunts though, you know, so it makes a lot, it's, it, it was bunts. Perfection. Now this baby is going into the oven. Now I'm going to serve this up. I'm going to slice out a nice, beautiful piece here. All right. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of cream to serve it with. Just a couple berries. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for another glorious kitchen session. We made my family sour cream pound cake. And it was a joy, quite a delight, actually. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased that you elected to join me today. Now I'm going to eat. I hope you make this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you Sit by the fireplace and read a book. Think about your life in a very positive light as you enjoy a slice of this cake. Thank you for joining me. Now I shall have a slice. <laughs> My God, it's so good. It's so good. I'll see y'all later. See y'all next time. Make sure you head to grandbaby-cakes.com to grab this recipe and so many more. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out my weekly recipe videos.